Hey folks, today I'm going to be talking about my favourite art journaling supplies. It's a question that I get asked a lot, is what do I use? What do you really need? Uh, what should I buy if I'm a beginner to get started? So I'm going to show you inside my art bag and hopefully that will answer a few of your questions. What is in my basic art journaling kit? I could, I suppose, call it a travel kit, except that we haven't been able to travel anywhere for a year. Um, and also, this is what I use all the time, really. I do a lot of my art journaling in my bedroom in the evening or on this kitchen table. I don't have a dedicated art studio. So this, when I say this is my travel kit, I mean it travels around the house with me. It can come into the kitchen and I can do a bit while the girls are playing. Um, and I have really most things that I need tucked away in this lovely bag, which my husband got me for my birthday. So I will, if I can find a link to this bag, I'll, I'll post it below so you know where I got it from. But I absolutely love it because it's got loads of space. It's got a zip fasten here and there's enough room to stuff a little A5 size journal in the pocket of the front. You can't zip it up, but you can put it in there quite securely. So that fits really nicely there. And everything I need is inside. So this is originally a cosmetics bag, not a art bag, as you will see. And it opens up like this, and then it opens up again. Like that, and like that. So we've got four sections to talk you through. So I'll talk about these last two sections at the end. But this middle, middle section is my basic supplies that I use very frequently. We'll have a look in here first. So first of all, I've got my matte gel medium. And I really love this size. It's 100 millilitres. And I can't find it at the moment. I'm panicking a bit that they have stopped doing it. I use this as an adhesive for my collage work and to uh, seal uh, water soluble stuff like these neo colors and things. Um, I use it to water down paints to make more of a glaze. So I can use that for all kinds of things, uh, matte gel medium. So got to have some of that in there. In terms of paint, I've got here, I've got a little watercolour set, which is a good way of taking a good mix of colours around with you. I don't tend to use watercolours all that much, but occasionally I do. And if I need just a bit of a specific colour, I can use that to make it. But more often, to get colour on the page, I would use my Neo Colour 2 soluble uh, crayons and this is a bit of a funny set because um, I bought it as a set of 10 but I've swapped in some different colours so this isn't what you would get if you got a set of 10 um, and you can see I've got bits of colours stuffed in as many as I can here. Um, you could buy a set of 10 like that or you can buy them individually and just buy the colours that you love and that you use that's a really good option as well, even if you just had three or four of them. Um, if you mix these, uh, you can mix them, activate them with water. So you can scribble on the page, brush some water over it, and they turn into a kind of bright watercolour kind of effect. You can just use them as a crayon. You can mix them with gel medium, and then they feel a bit more like a kind of acrylic paint, although, again, with lots of transparency. So these are really useful and probably my number one way of getting paint onto the page. On top of that, I have got one tube of acrylic paint here and it's white. And that's running out too. I'm going to have to replace that soon. I use white acrylic paint an awful lot um, alongside collage and um, other ways of getting colour onto the page. Uh, white is probably the thing that I would use the most. And I can also uh, 
swap into this kit other little tubes of colours that I'm particularly into at the moment, which tends to change. Um, at the moment, I'm going through a really neutral phase, so I'm liking kind of beiges and browns and uh, greys and that kind of thing. But, um, you know, in a few months, I might be really into pink and I'd put a little pink tube in as well. So you can, there's room in there for quite a few little tubes of colours that you love. So that's all the paint side of things, I think. In terms of getting the paint on the page, I have a flat brush. This is really massively versatile, I think. It's a small flat brush, which I can use to apply the um, gel medium to glue on collage. I can use it for painting. I can use the thin end for detail. Not that I do a lot of detail painting, really, to be honest with you. Um, and I can use a flat bit to do washes. I often also carry a bigger flat brush as well, but I can just get by just with this little brush for the most part, to be honest with you. Um, I've also got a sponge. I like sponging on colour and bits of old credit card to scrape the paint on, a bit like a palette knife. One of those, or actually I've got two of those in there. I've also got a pencil, normal pencil eraser. I've got I've got one roll of washi tape in a neutral colour. It's quite helpful to have something quite neutral because it's quite versatile. And I've got a little bottle of glittery stuff, glitter glue, just for fun. Everyone needs a bit of sparkle, don't they, once in a while. So those are my applicators. I have got, oh, sorry. I've got a bunch of pens and pencils here. So I've got two, apparently, don't need two. Um, a HB normal graphite pencil, nothing special, with an eraser at the end. That's very useful for drawing. I have got a Stabilo All in black which is a water-soluble pencil with a very intense black colour. I've got three ink tents, water-soluble again, um, pencils, like watercolour pencils, but they're a bit more uh, stronger in their colour. So I've got a black in that, which is probably doubling up with the Stabilo, actually, you don't really need that. I've got this, which I just absolutely love. It's deep indigo colour, which is a deep, deep blue um color when you use it and that again that's just my personal preference i just really adore that color and i've got a mustard as well which i also like but i might swap these in again for other colors if i'm going through a red phase i'd put a red one in so you can mix up what you um what is exciting you in that season um finally i have got wouldn't be without either of these. These I've got a Micron um, fine liner pen. That's just a black fine liner pen, but it's permanent. So that isn't going to dissolve with water. And that's really handy if you want to write something which you want to keep on the page or draw around something. Really useful. And my beloved white Posca pen as well, which allows me to write in white and add white highlights to a page that is super duper useful and one of the, one of my desert island supplies i think i'll pop those back in now these are making a bit of a mess i've noticed of recent and i saw someone on youtube who had put all their uh, pencils like this in a toothbrush a travel toothbrush holder like a long plastic case so i'm gonna be on the lookout for one of those that i can stick those in So that's that side. So this side, I've got my watercolour paints, which I showed you. I've got a glue stick, which if I don't want to use the wet gel medium to stick something on the page, I can just, I really like these ones. They, they are uh, more sort of moist and less thick than the normal Pritt sticky type glue sticks. They're really nice, a Scotch glue stick. I have got a, 
um, candle, a wax candle, which I use for resist work. So I can use this to scribble and make marks on a page. And then if I use my watercolours to put a wash over the top of it, this will shine through. So that's what that's for. This is a little mister. So there's water in there and just normal tap water. And it's a little spray um, bottle. So I can spray on water onto a page. Again, that is super duper useful for making nice drippy art, for uh, wetting the page to do a wet wash, to do wet and wet watercolour stuff. Um, yeah, so a little spray bottle that you can put some water in. In fact, I don't, if I've got this, I can cope without an actual pot of water, which I usually have. Where's my little pot gone? Okay, so I normally have a tiny little black pot. Um, it's about this big and it's just a plastic um, pot that I put my water in to uh, wet my brushes and wash my brushes and all that kind of thing but I can if I'm desperate manage without it just with the water that's in here so we do need water when we're painting that's useful and I've got a little pair of scissors these are quite sharp ones so I can cut out things quite fussily if I want to not that I do that very often always handy pair of scissors I've got a date stamp I used to be quite diligent about stamping my work so that I knew when I did it um, I've got less diligent about that recently but I do have a black stamp pad this is just a cheapy one that came with something I think but it's a nice little size diddy size and again these would be a beloved thing a little box of letter stamps use these all the time um yeah i i'm not very good at the whole hand lettering thing i would like to be better at it but my go-to way of putting my final thoughts onto the page is to use letter stamps so they are super useful they weren't expensive i think they were from hobbycraft and they were just maybe two pounds or something like that so super cheap but super useful there we go. Um, the only other thing that I would add to this that I don't tend to carry around in here probably is my beloved Payne's Grey acrylic ink. Um, I don't tend to carry it around because obviously it's a glass bottle and it frightens me. So I would like to think of a way that I could maybe do that, maybe decant some into something more plasticky. I don't know. Um, but I sort of carry that around separately which is a bit of a pain but I do use it all the time it's part of my basic kit that I like to use and now to just explain what's in these two flaps so in this flap I have got collage uh, materials so lots of little bits and pieces of fabric photos black and white photos wrapping paper tissue paper a bit of old map Images from magazines, you name it basically, you know, you know me, I'll stick anything on a page. Little bits of patterns, words. So, um, and I will change these because I'll get bored of them. So at some point I'll chuck these out or move them somewhere else and put in a new little selection. So that's that pocket. And this side, I have got stencils and other kind of printing, mark making type stuff. So that's a bit of um, plasterboard tape, I think it is. You can get it on a roll, uh, but a nice little gr uh, grid dotty stencil there. Those are just some stickers. This is a bit of textured wallpaper, but I actually use it to print with. Again, it gives a lovely little dots on the page so I can put some paint or ink on there and print with it. This is carbon paper which has probably seen better days and I use this to trace images that I want on the page sometimes and then I've got various patterned stencils there. I tend to use again quite um, 
neutral repeating patterns rather than a stencil of something like of a cat or a unicorn or whatever. So these are all patterns rather than things for my stencils. But they're fun to use as well. And I normally have a bit of bubble wrap in here too. I don't know if that's gone. Oh, I do. Look. A little bit of bubble wrap, which is a great mark making tool to have that is easy to get hold of. So I really wanted to show you that because if you're just setting out in art journaling and you think, oh, what supplies do I need? It's easy to go off and buy tons and tons of paint and brushes and things that you think you need, but you really don't. And um, I could quite happily art journal away with this kit here, my Payne's Grey and a couple of old magazines, and I would be pretty much happy till kingdom come. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at that and let me know if you have any thoughts. Do you have a little kit that you uh, use? Do you keep it in a bag? How do you store it? What are your favourite supplies? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. See you soon. Mm -hmm.